What's up guys? Welcome to Flow, your 14 day jump rope journey. Today is day 11. It's going to be a fun one. We're learning a new trick today. So let's go have some fun. Welcome, my friends. Thank you for joining me today for day 11. I'm so happy to have you here and a big congrats to you all for showing up and conquering the most challenging part of jumping rope or learning any new skill for that matter. Keep it up and we will continue getting better together. We have a fun practice plan for today. We are introducing a new trick called the side swing crossover, which is going to be an awesome way to add some visual flair to your flow and sharpen your coordination to start unlocking all sorts of new, fun, exciting tricks. When learning any new trick, we can expect the mind and body to struggle quite a bit as we're trying to learn the movement pattern and trying to coordinate our limbs and the timing. We can expect that to be challenging and it's not going to just happen right away. We got to keep showing up, keep practicing, and eventually that will lead to that smooth, effortless look that we're all striving for when we jump. With that said, let's get into today's practice. I invite you to find some space to follow along with me and allow my voice to guide you. Today we're starting with the rope. So go ahead and grab it if you have not already. Starting with single arm side swings, just to get the rope moving while we warm up the body, start establishing some rhythm, tuning into the breath, tuning into the foundation. You want to stand up nice and tall, feet flat on the ground, nice long spine, chest up, nice and tall, shoulders down and back. Here we go, spread the toes wide, root through the platforms, inhale up, balance, exhale down, slow and steady, inhale up, even weight distribution through the platforms, exhale down, good, inhale up, Let's cross the rope over at the side while we're up here without losing balance. Exhale down. Great. Inhale up. Exhale down. Cross the rope over. Let's take it into a slight squat. Go and spread the feet slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Okay, we still got that side swing going. Chest is up. Spreading the toes wide, root through the platforms. Inhale up. Balance. Exhale down. Slow and steady. Inhale up. Exhale down. Cross that rope over to the other side. Inhale up. Exhale, down. Good. Last one. Inhale, up. Cross the body. Cross the body. Cross the body. There we go. Exhale, down. Great. Go ahead and gently rise to standing. Bring the feet together. Find that spring. Let's shift the weight over to the right leg. Go ahead and roll up onto the left platform. And we're just going to bounce here. We're on the left tiptoe. Building strength in that right calf muscle. Building strength in there, warming those muscles up for what's about to come. Bring it back to the middle. Lower the foot down and cross the rope over to the left side. Shift the weight onto the left foot. Roll up onto the right toe. Continue bouncing on that left platform. Reconnect with your breath. Great. 
take it back to the middle, cross over. Great. Let's work that beneath the leg pass that we did last time. Go ahead and join me. You might feel like you're picking up the pace a little bit. One, two, three. Make sure we're counting in our head. One, two, three. Good, we're starting to build some rhythm, build some timing. Great, hand off to the right hand, single arm side swings. Let's start bouncing slowly, being sure to land softly. I'm, I'm landing with a boxer skip pattern. Kata, kata, kata. You're welcome to land with a double limp bounce if you feel more comfortable with that. Good. Cross the body and hand off when you feel ready. We're going to take a couple minutes here to just warm up single arm side swings. You can hand off whenever. Throw some rotations in it, take it backwards, and complete the rotation. Reconnect with the breath. Remember to land softly. Go ahead and hand off the rope. Two arm side swings now. You can do singles or doubles. Start prepping some running man footwork. We're picking up the heart rate increasing our vibration, our frequency. Here we go. Join me for side swing threes. Connect with your breath and the timing. You're doing great. Here we go. Let's get some boxer skips through the rope. Keep connecting with the breath. Tight core, landing softly. You know the drill. You know the drill. If you trip on the rope, just get back in. It is okay. Throw in some heel toe patterns while we're here, if you feel comfortable doing so. Listen to your rhythm. go. Slow it down, side swings. Good. Side swings, go ahead and listen to me while we continue the side swings. Next, we're going to go into some south paws. Just reviewing 
that technique for crossing the body. We're going to need that as we do our side swing crossovers. So we're going to do this. Check it out. South pause. Both sides. You can do any combination that feels good to you. Go ahead and join me if you haven't already. Connect with your breath. Feel the weight of the rope. Side swings and bring it to a hold. Nice and slow. Make it dramatic. Make it dramatic. Oh, the drama. Oh, the drama. God. <laughs> Excellent work. Man, we are, <laughs> we are definitely warm now. Go ahead and grab some water and we'll get into today's new trick. Alrighty, welcome back. Our mind and body are warmed and ready to learn a new trick now. So let's get into it. Side swing crossovers. I'll demonstrate them first and then we'll talk about it. Talk about how to do them. So they look like a side swing into a crossover like that. And in context, it looks like that. Sometimes they have this one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Sometimes they are in three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Sometimes they're in four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Possibilities are endless. So before we start jumping into this trick, let's identify a few components. As the name implies, this starts with a side swing. So when we start, let's start on our dominant side. For me, that's my right side. So when we do the right side side swings, they look like this. That means the right arm is crossing over. But the first swing whew, is to the right side. This is step one. And in this position, the left hand is already crossed the body. The left hand is already crossed there. So if we want to cross the rope, all we need to do is leave that hand here and swipe that other hand across. So we have the crossing arm and the stationary arm here. Boom, boom. So with drill, we can practice to start sharpening that movement pattern. It's just doing some side swings. Maybe we do four and then side cross into a toe catch. Just pick up the toes, catch the rope in the heels. One, two, three, four. As we do this, there's a couple things to tune into. You know, we have our crossing arm, our stationary arm. If our crossing arm bends like this at the elbow, that rope is going to hit us in the shins. So if it bends, we want to make sure that crossing arm stays low. Make sure it stays low. Also, if our stationary arm starts to collapse in towards the midline, if it starts to relax in like that, that's also going to lead to either the arc missing the toe catch entirely or only catching it in one shoe. So give it a try. On your own pace, we're just doing toe catches into a side swing crossover. Really tune in to the wrist mechanics here. Taking some time to explore this movement. This is our first time jumping over the rope 
with crossed arms. Exciting. As long as your stationary arm stays stationary and keeps flicking the wrist, and your crossing arm crosses the body and stays low, you should get a nice clean toe catch. If you're starting to get the hang of this, I invite you to try doing these on your non-dominant side. We can expect that to feel a little more uncomfortable, but the mechanics are the same, just mirrored. So if you're on your non-dominant side, we want to start with non-dominant side swings. For me, that's my left side. All right, last rep. All right, great. Next, please turn your attention to me as I demonstrate the next step. So we're crossed here, we're gonna need to get out of this. And to do that, we're gonna bring that stationary arm back across the body. So we end up in a side swing with the right, with the dominant arm crossed over. So much like when we're doing our side swings, we have one, two, this is gonna be our ending position. Okay, so we go from side swing to cross to cross to side swing. So to practice that hand movement, let's start from our toe catch and then get the rope behind you. So the rope is behind us in this cross position. We're gonna whip it around and bring that left hand to the side of the body like this. Okay, it doesn't need to look the cleanest. We're just trying to practice bringing that arm, bringing that stationary arm back across the body. It's gonna follow that crossing arm. So you can do a toe catch. Boom, go to the toes, get that rope behind you, and whip it over, bring that stationary arm across. Great. Next, let's practice jumping over the rope. Just be aware that with the side swing crossovers, that arc is going to come at you more at an angle rather than straight forward. So just keep your eyes open for that. It's gonna come at a, a little angle. Not a massive angle, but a little angle. It's just something to be mindful of. And so because of that, I believe it is easier to start learning this trick with the feet in this sort of staggered tandem stance. Just so that way our legs are more narrow. It'll be easier to clear the rope. So I'm gonna hop through with my lead leg and bring it over to the other side. Let's try that again. So we start with some side swings, cross, take it over to the other side. Go ahead and join me whenever you feel ready. Once that hand follows through, just keep flowing into side swings. Keep that arc moving. Remember to land softly. Okay, we're keeping the stationary arm stationary and swinging that crossing arm across the body. Great, go ahead and slow it down into a hold. Excellent, so a little combination pattern we can put together just to make this feel a little more seamless is going to be a four beat sequence. Beat one is the side swing, beat two is the cross, beat three is the crossed over side swing, and beat four is just an open jump. It'll look like this. Always feels good to start with the side swings first. One, two, three, four. 
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Go ahead and give it a whirl. I'll be right here if you want some visual demonstrations. One, make sure we're counting. We're still breathing. Yeah, hopefully you're starting to get the hang of it. And bring it to a hold. Great. Hopefully it's starting to feel a little smoother. We always want to tune in to the weight of the rope. We want to feel that weight all the way at the end of the rope. If we lose that sensation, that probably means that we're too tense. Okay, we want to stay in control of the handles. We want soft hands here. Soft hands, so we can feel that weight. If you feel like you can, I invite you to try these on your non-dominant side. Same four beat pattern. If you're still working it out, it is totally fine to stay on the same side. Here we go. Great work, bring it into a hold. Awesome job, great work. Ooh, I'm sweating, <laughs> I'm sweating. Go ahead and grab some water if you'd like. I could use some. Side swing crossovers. Like I said in the beginning, you may have encountered some frustration in the early stages of learning this. That is totally normal and to be expected. Hold on, I gotta catch my breath. <sighs> Hopefully, there were a couple reps where you did it and you saw that you were able to do this trick. And from there, you know it's just gonna take some practice. You just gotta keep showing up and doing the thing. Those side swing crossovers are so great for building that smooth effortless flow and having a nice visual aesthetic to this art form. I am so proud of you for continuing to show up and trust the process. Thank you so much for doing this with me. It is such an honor and privilege to guide you on this journey. I'll see you tomorrow for day 12. Take care.